morning, squad. How is everyone doing today? And welcome back to another vlog. Well, today it is Wednesday, September the 21st. And today isn't gonna be as productive as it was yesterday. Yesterday, we had so much things to do. We were going to the store, we went to Highgate, and we did a whole bunch of different stuff. So today, we're not doing anything. We're kind of just staying at down low. <laughs> we're not doing anything. I might to film quite a few reviews because I have to get those reviews out. I want my reviews to be up at 5 p.m. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I might switch that up uh, in the next couple months or so. So it's definitely stay tuned. Definitely follow me on Instagram. That's where I let you know exactly what's coming up next on both channels, the review channel and the vlog channel. But right now, it kind of looks like it's going to rain. I just got notification on my phone that we we're under a severe thunderstorm watch. I think that was a watch or not, maybe not a warning, but it's supposed to be up to 38 degrees by this afternoon. So that's gonna be a very hot one. And I'm super thankful that I did not take my air conditioning out because I was planning on doing so a couple days ago because it was really nice outside, nice cool temperatures that you could just relax and have a nice uh, good night's sleep, right? But today is supposed to be 38, so I'm kind of glad I didn't take the AC out. Uh, anyway, so it is nice and breezy. That makes sense, breezy. <laughs> This morning it's really nice, you know, nice cool wind, but I heard it's supposed to be really hot this afternoon, so keep my fingers crossed. I think, like I was telling my girlfriend, I think we're gonna be ending up keeping the air conditioning in at least till mid-October, because from everything the weather has been going on these past couple of months, like uh, hot to cold, hot to cold, I think we'll just end up keeping the air conditioning in till mid-October maybe beginning of November maybe so I haven't had a coffee yet and I'm gonna go in and make myself a coffee so let's go so it's 11 13 and it is starting to feel a little bit more humid than what it was like when I first started the vlog and I'm not sure if the humidity is coming but it hasn't rained yet and it looks pretty dark over here. <laughs> Thumbnail. So, yeah, I'm going to keep up with these uh, the vlog throughout the day and at different timing. So that way I can show you guys if it's raining at a certain time. So far, 11.13. It's not raining yet. I have to go in and start editing yesterday's vlog. Um, when I put it in my computer, started editing it, it was like 28 minutes long without editing it so by the time i am done with the whole editing it might be like a 25 minute vlog depending on how much pieces of the vlog i need to cut out because of mistakes that i make sometimes i say something and i don't say it the right way so i just cut that piece out and just you know that's the whole cutting segment that a lot of you guys have asked about there's one comment i think it was a few months ago had asked me about why why I do the cutting segments and I did a video on explaining why I was doing that so that's why so yeah it's starting to feel a little windy now Let's see if we can go over here but the wind is starting to you know catch up I guess <laughs> so yes yeah, so you see over there it's nice like even right here, it's a little clear. Kind of feel like it's seven o'clock in the morning and not 11 o'clock. Strange how that is, right? See over there, not bad. Over here, looks pretty clear. There's a little bit of the sun, but it's certainly feeling like seven o'clock in the morning rather than 11. So let's go in and start editing. So now it is 12, 16 and it's downpouring right here in Chatham, Ontario. 
it is thundering it had a big crack of thunder just a few minutes ago so it is really coming down so i'll show you guys yeah it's really coming down i'm not sure if i can open the window oh yeah it's coming down can't open it without it. i can't open it without being the rain all over the place It's coming down, 12.16. It is almost 5.30 and I haven't vlogged in a few hours. Last time I had vlogged was this morning when I was waiting for the rain actually. And I did vlog a tad bit in my studio because it was raining at that time. It came down about 12 o'clock, 12.30. So now it is 5.30, it is now clear outside and I'm having dinner. Tonight we're having shepherd's pie and we're using the ground beef from Highgate's because you know, Highgate is amazing. I truly am amazed by their meat, their product. I'm also amazed by their amazing staff. They're always up there and wanting to help you out, which is amazing. Definitely, I highly recommend to go to Highgate's and I'm gonna show you guys my shepherd's pie. Well, here is my shepherd's pie. And the potatoes that we used was the yellow potato with some corn and ground beef. Looking good. Might even add some maple bacon seasoning. <laughs> you know, everything works great with maple bacon seasoning. If I could find it. Oh, right here, right here. Maple bacon seasoning, yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below on what you guys put on your shepherd's pie. A lot of people say this isn't shepherd's pie because it's not made with that specific meat that shepherd's pie would require. This is more like a cottage pie, people say. So what do you put on your cottage pie or shepherd's pie? What do you guys put on? So the one thing that I've always said when it comes to eating and I'm about to eat Bon appetit, everyone, and let me know in the comment section below on what you guys are having for dinner. Let's talk about it, and I might try your recipe next. So it is almost, I'm not even sure what time it is. Let's see. It's almost 7.30, and I just came back from Food Basics because I had to get some olive oil. They had olive oil on sale for $6.98, and I've been using the Bacell oil, but I love olive oil for cooking, so I got this, the extra virgin olive oil for $6.98. That's quite cheap, and today is the last day of the sale, so I went and got a bottle of olive oil, and I also got some Cinnabon bread. I'm not sure if you guys have ever had this, but this is like one of my favorite breads. I love eating this with peanut butter, and it's so good, especially with uh, peanut butter or butter, so good. Oh so good so i got that i got some olive oil i also got a pack of activia yogurt i had to get because i didn't have any so i picked up some yogurt some cinnabon bread I actually went to the dollar tree and i came across the coca-cola dream world this is the original one and not the sugar-free one so i am super excited to compare this one with the uh, sugar-free one or the zero sugar. See if they'll, this is actually different than the zero sugar, but we'll see. I actually do have a Mountain Dew Spark I got from Mountain Dew back in May, I think, or April. And I had vlogged that I had received this care package from Mountain Dew and there's one Mountain Dew Spark left that I have in the fridge that I want to give it a try and uh, try it in the vlog. I've already tried it in the review, but I also wanna bring it to the vlog. So stay tuned for that one. I might do that sometime this week because you know, I don't have anything to vlog and let's make this vlog interesting every day, right? Let's uh, try different products in the vlog. Even those uh, products I've already reviewed, I'll bring in the vlog. What do you guys think? And recently I went to the Dollarama as well and I got a Baja Blast. And they came out with a new Mountain Dew. I'm not even sure where. Oh, it's right here. They came out with a new Mountain Dew that I think they, they had it before. But it's a limited time only. Baja Gold. So this is going to be a definite review on CB12 Reviews. So definitely, if you guys haven't yet subscribed to CB12 Reviews, 
do that now. All links in the description. So my phone's at 10%, so I might go upstairs, charge my phone, come back down, because I want to review those pumpkin and chai muffins that I got last night. So I'm going to charge my phone, maybe vlog a little bit after, and then I'm going to maybe watch some Chicago Fire, PD, and Med, because all new seasons starts tonight. Let me know if you guys watch either one of them or you guys watch them all. Because at the beginning, I used to watch just Chicago PD. But I started watching Chicago Med and then Chicago Fire. I didn't think at first I was going to like Chicago Fire, but I'm actually hooked on Chicago Fire. I like Chicago Fire way more than PD and Med. But what is your favorite one? Is it uh, Med, Fire, or PD? Let me know and uh, maybe we can talk about it. Maybe what I'll do is every day or at least every week, we'll talk about the episodes and see what you guys all liked about it. Uh, is there parts that you thought could have been different? Um, we're going to talk about it. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that's a good idea? might not watch it, but I might record it on my DVR. And that way I can just uh, fast forward the, uh, the commercials. Because I don't really like the commercials. Because you kind of get into the show and then there's commercials. But if I record it, I can just fast forward the commercials and go straight to the show. What do you guys all, do you guys all do that? Oh, you guys see? Eight o'clock, Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, and Chicago PD. I'm gonna record all of them, and we're gonna watch it. I might have to watch it tomorrow. It's funny though, because I just finished watching uh, Chicago Fire on DVD. I just got done season 10 today on DVD, the last episode of Chicago Fire, and it was uh, Severide, and Stella kid got married and they were at their honeymoon. Can't wait till tonight, season 11. We're gonna find out what happened, really. So there's also Chicago PD. I can't remember which episode I left off. I just subscribed to City TV, or is it City? City News or City TV Plus on Amazon Prime so I can get the other two seasons that I didn't get to watch. First PD and Med, so. I'm definitely going to start watching uh, Med again, and then we're going to watch Chicago PD as well. So it's like I'm everywhere. It's like it's funny because I never thought I would ever get into any of these Chicago shows. And I just started watching Chicago PD one night, and I thought I'm getting hooked on the, this show. So, you know, as, as time went, I started watching Med and then Fire. I didn't think I was going to like Chicago Fire, um, but I was just hooked the minute that I started watching the first episode. I think I watched season one to eight on Amazon Prime. And then later I find out after I had gotten them on DVD, season nine and 10, that I could watch them on Amazon Prime. I just had to buy the subscription, but I got them both on DVD. So that's fine. <laughs> so whenever they decide to take them off Amazon, I still have it on DVD. Let's stop talking. Let's go and charge my phone because uh, I don't want to keep talking. And then my phone dies. So... This, this way, I kind of gives me time to uh, put all the footage on my computer and then free up some space on my phone. So let's go. My phone is now charged at least up to 80%. So it will give me some time to film a review. And I was going to do like a couple reviews, but it is about 10-ish or not 10. What time is it? I'm not even sure what time it is. I know it's not 10. Let's check the time. Yeah, it's almost 10 actually. So I kind of don't want to film as many reviews. I just want to film one review so I can get to tomorrow and at least have it up for 5 p.m. at least. So I'm going to film the review on the uh, pumpkin and chai muffins because I'm really wanting to try those because I love pumpkin. Uh, chai, I just started to get into chai and I think pumpkin and chai would be great, a great combination. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna film that review. Maybe we can film another one, but yeah, I do have Coca-Cola, the Coca-Cola Dream World, the original one. I do have an energy drink I have to film. And I do have the Mountain Dew Whiteout I have to film as well. There's like a lot of products that I have to film. But I'm sure like the uh, Mountain Dew 
white out. They probably don't sell it anymore, and I'm gonna be doing a review on it. Like, I don't know why. Like, I do have some pudding, some chocolate bars. I do have three chocolate bars I have to do a review on. The Hershey Salted Caramel, the Cotton Candy, and the Chocolate Hazelnut. So I gotta do that. I do have a Pop Shop soda I have to do a review on. Like, there's so many reviews I have to film. And I'm just starting to get really feeling a lot better than, than what I have been, like, these past three these past three months. So I'm just getting back into filming. Uh, thankfully, I had a whole bunch of reviews already filmed and already set up for their day, like, back in August because I wasn't really feeling myself. And the whole engagement every Monday and Tuesday, so that was really kind of taking over me. So I didn't have time to really vlog and film. So... Now that I'm back into swing of things, we're going to start filming a lot more, right? So I know the muffins I really want to do a review on. And then I have ice creams. I was supposed to do it for the summertime. Like, I, my, my schedule is out of whack. When it comes to reviews, there's things that I should be reviewing for the summertime. I don't. And it's usually I don't have time. And those are the reviews that do take a little bit more time or a lot more filming. So that's why I really don't end up doing it in the summertime. But let's start filming this review, at least the muffins. So we got the Irresistible. Irresistible? <laughs> i sure. We got the Irresistible Muffins Pumpkin and Chai. They're not new. That doesn't say new, but to me, they're new because I've never seen them before. So let's film. I just got done filming the review on the pumpkin and chai muffins. And all I can say is, wow, you guys will have to check out the full video review because it is so good. It's going to be probably up by tomorrow at five. I'm hoping I'm aiming at five. But if this vlog is up before the review, then I'll leave that link to that review in the top of the description. If you guys aren't subscribed to CB12 Reviews. If you guys haven't yet, go to CB12 Reviews and subscribe. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys did, show your support, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely ring all notifications so when I upload a new vlog, you guys get notified instantly for free. Definitely recommend you guys follow me on Instagram. That's where I'll let you guys know what's coming up next. I do wanna thank you guys very much for watching and definitely share this vlog with your friends and family and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. Give me all you've got If you're prepared to break the silence Sunshine running beside the